Hi, and welcome back to creating your ultimate inventory system using Google Workspace. Today, we're going to be showing you how to add notifications to your system. And this is great, not only for inventory management, but let's say you're doing purchase order management or you want to create invoices, you can generate automatic Gmail and Google Docs from every row of data that you have on your spreadsheet automatically. So get ready to save some serious amount of time. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the new videos. Okay, so this is where we left off last time. We have now our forms, our whole process with every database, and now we're gonna go into our current inventory file, right? Here I know what my current inventory is, but let's say I don't wanna check one by one every time my to check if my stock is low, right? So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add actually two columns, and I'm gonna um, add two pieces of information. First, I want to know what is my reorder level for each item. And this is a manual input because each item will have its own reorder level and that's something you, you know only. I already have it for sake of time. So that is my reorder level. And now I want to create a column that tells me if the stock is enough or if I'm low on stock. So I want to check if my reorder level is higher than my current inventory. So I'm going to go with an if formula. If my current inventory is larger than my reorder level, then uh, it's available. But if it's not, then it's on low stock. Feel free to use any word that you want. Okay. So in this case, it's available. Yay. Now uh, we want to do this an array. We have it for the entire row. Now. Uh, we want to do our trick where it doesn't continue down the entire row of data. So I'm going to put a second if actually here. But by this time, you should already know how it works. If I have this, if this value is blank, then I don't want to see anything. Otherwise, give me the expression. I missed, as always, my array. So now it should work. And if I add a new item, it'll automatically uh, calculate it for that as well. So now I know when it's available or low on stock, but I don't have the time to be entering the spreadsheet every day, or maybe this happens once every week. and I'm not sure when that's gonna happen and I have a thousand other things in my mind. So I'm gonna add a notification using Shiko. So we're gonna add new automation in the same workflow. So our source file, this tab, that's perfect. And then we're going to use our first data processor of this workflow, which is going to be a filter, right? So I want all columns of the file when my availability text is exactly low stock. Here you have to check um, upper cases and lower cases. So it's low stock. Cool. So I'm gonna confirm and then I'm gonna add a next step. So I want every time that that column says low stock to get to Chico generate an email, right? So I'm gonna generate an email and this is this this is for like if you're doing invoices or or if you want to get um, send a purchase order to all your suppliers. But in this case, we're going to use a custom recipient because we want, I don't know, the inventory manager at ecorap.com to be able to reorder everything. The, the subject is going to be this item is low on stock. And then I'm going to use some smart tags that already brings me the headers of my spreadsheet. So you have here like bullet points, alignments, images, links. I'm going to add a button right here that tells you go back and do that. So this, I'll just link it to my current. There you go. And I'm also going to add some variable placeholders. SKU, item name, measure, current inventory. And you can remove the Shiko branding if you want. There's some extra stuff around here, the tracking, etc. But in this case, I think this is already quite 
cool enough. And yeah, that's it. Just hit finish and save. And then every time you have um, an item that goes low on stock, you're going to receive um, an automatic email. Of course, in order to receive it, you're going to have to have triggers, right? So if you run this to run automatically on a schedule multiple times a day, maybe once a day, uh, every hour, it really depends on your own business needs. So again, as I said in the beginning of this series, every system is unique and that is the beauty of spreadsheets. So here I'm not telling you exactly what you need to do, but just showing you the options that you have. Next up, we have how to create dashboards. And this is a pretty cool feature from, from Chico that's quite new. And we use it internally a lot, so I can't wait to show you. Please subscribe so you can get notifications on these videos. And remember, automate your Google Workspace.